In this lesson, let's take a detailed look at what is going to be covered on the SOLIDWORKS CSWA certification exam. First, a certified SOLIDWORKS associate is an individual who has successfully passed the SOLIDWORKS fundamental skills examination. Each CSWA has proven their ability to design parts and assemblies using a variety of core features in SOLIDWORKS. Now, what skills does it take to become CSWA certified? From the SOLIDWORKS certification website, it provides you with the list of competencies you see on the screen that you will need to possess in order to be successful in passing the CSWA certification exam. You must have a good foundation in sketching. This includes sketch entities like lines, center lines, the various options for rectangles, circles, and arcs. You should also be proficient in sketch tools like trim, convert entities, offset, and mirror. In addition, a complete understanding of sketch relations and dimensions is necessary. Part features may consist of extrudes, revolves, fillets and chamfers, holes, patterns, shells, and reference planes. You also need to be familiar with the different end conditions within the extrude and revolve features like blind, mid-plane, and up to surface. You should also know how to apply material to a part along with checking the mass properties of a part. As far as assemblies, you should understand how to insert components along with experience in applying standard mates like coincident, parallel, perpendicular, tangent, concentric, distance, and angle. In the assembly environment, you should be familiar with reference geometry like planes and axes. Finally, understanding the different drawing views in the drawing environment is also required. The actual CSWA certification exam consists of 14 questions. There are a total of 240 points and you will need 165 of the 240 points in order to pass the CSWA exam. And you have three hours to complete the exam. As I mentioned a second ago, the CSWA certification exam consists of 14 questions. Three of the 14 questions is dedicated to drafting competencies. These three questions are worth five points each, and each one of these questions will be a multiple choice question. The questions will focus around identifying different drawing views, like section views, cropped views, and broken out views. You will then be given two questions for basic part creation and modification worth 15 points each. The first part will be a multiple choice question. And then after you complete that first question, you will be modifying it and that question will be a fill in the blank question. This basic part will consist of sketching, extruded bosses, extrude cuts, and modifying key dimensions. You will also be given an intermediate part this part consists of two questions worth 15 points each. And once again, the first question will be multiple choice and the second question will be a fill in the blank question. This intermediate part will consist of sketching, a revolved boss, an extrude cut, and a circular pattern. The advanced part will consist of three questions worth 15 points each. The first question will be multiple choice and the second and third question will be a fill in the blank question. This part's more complex, so it will consist of sketching, sketch offsets, extruded bosses, extrude cuts, modifying key dimensions, and overall, it's going to be more difficult than the basic and intermediate part. You will finish up the exam with four questions for assemblies. Now, you will be given all the parts to download, and you will be building two separate assemblies. The assembly questions will consist of multiple choice questions and fill in the blank questions. You will be required to insert components, apply mates, and modify key parameters in the assembly. So this gives you a detailed coverage of what the exam consists of. Now let's move on in the lessons and prepare for the CSWA exam.